And we're back here on Good Morning Lake Martin. It's about 29 past the hour here. I've got a bunch of guys out here with me. We get excited to have the, uh, the, the robotics team from Faith Christian Academy. John David Stark with us. Good morning, sir. Good to see you. How are you, man? We're good. you got a bunch of guys here with me. First of all, before we talk about our robotics team, let's talk a little bit about Faith Christian Academy. Tell me about the school and, and uh, kind of when it started and where it is. I think we're in the seventh or eighth year of our school. Good. Um, we've grown. We've grown. We're up to around 70 students good, now. Good. We go all the way from K-4. Um, we had our first graduate last year, mm -hmm. um, and she's moved on to college now at Jacksonville State, I believe. Good. This year we have a junior, and he's uh, doing some classes, dual enrollment, uh, and so he's, he's progressing along uh, well, too. These guys are fourth through the eighth grade okay. uh, at FCA. Now, now you, you decided to start a robotics team, I guess, a year or so ago, and uh, ca ca how did that kind of start? You just, uh, did you just... We're always looking to do some extra things outside the classroom. Right. Uh -huh. uh, and a couple of years ago, a lady who was working at the school named Denise Shivers mm -hmm. reached out to Nick Nicholson, mm -hmm. uh, who does a lot of the robotics with the public schools. Yes. Uh, and those two worked together and just did a, a tremendous job. Uh, she took them to New Orleans the past two years to compete. Uh, they did extremely well. And so she's moved on to a different job. I'm trying to fill in as a, as a suitable replacement. Yeah, Mr. Nichols been, has been on here with us before, Mr. Nicholson. Uh, you're going to give us a little demonstration here. Now, what, what these guys have done, they literally build this machine. Right. Uh, they're about to head to a competition. Is this a statewide competition? Well, it's uh, actually sort of a, a regional competition in New Orleans. Okay. There'll be a lot of teams from L Louisiana. All right. A couple from mm -hmm. Alabama, maybe Mississippi there as well. Good. So they build this from scratch. What we start with is, this is called our brick. We come in and build the chassis. And their job is to create this attachment. And so when we get to the competition, there'll be all sorts of attachments. Mm -hmm. And our guys have come in based on the projects that they have to do. And they've built this uh, just using their imagination and their, their love for Legos. I think we have a lot there of Lego go. guys here. <laughs> yeah, I go way back with some Legos myself. <laughs> right. Yeah, I love them. So what we'll do is uh, we've got our robot and we have a, a color sensor here. And the guys have, have come in and programmed it so that when it sees the black, our robot will stop moving forward and hopefully let our our petri dish top down on top of the petri dish and then slide away onto its next mission. Okay. So our competition has 10 missions. This is one of them. So we'll come in here. Hopefully, uh, John Patrick's going to help me get it lined up. All right. Let's, uh, let's get him in here. We've got the camera on him so we can see that better. So let's go ahead with your demonstration. All right. So you're ready? All right. Now, uh, once you get see. it lined up, move out of the way and we'll see if we can't get it aligned going. there. All right. When so you're ready. So what happens is our color sensor may pick up a shadow. Uh, we uh -huh. have some lights coming yeah, down, creating do. some black. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we'll, tr we'll see if we can't start it one more time. Sure, go and while ahead. he sets it up, I'll introduce the guys if you Please don't Please do. Yeah, give us everybody a wave when, you, when he calls your name. So this is John Paul Bowles. Evan Dunning in the back is Jake. What's your last name? I'm, uh, Jennings. Jennings. I always forget these guys' last names. This is Reed Daltrey, Dylan Palacios, Scott Johnson. Johnson. I want to make sure I get them right. Christopher Phillips, and this is Scott Marlowe on the other hand. Good, okay. I always know them by their first name. There you and so go. <laughs> I, again, like I said, I'm a volunteer, and so I don't always get to see these guys except for maybe an hour a week. So. I got you. Chapman Marlowe. All right. Ready? <laughs> My son's correcting me. I appreciate that. All right. Cool. There you almost got So we've got a lot of work right to on. do. That's okay. You know what? Uh, and and this, this is great. These guys have the thought to put this all together and, and just design this from scratch and put the... Uh, that, that's amazing to me. Well, one of the pushes right now, uh, I guess nationally, is the STEM uh, program, the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Right. Uh, and this is, this is sort of birthed out of that. We want to really try to create that critical thinking uh, just mold those minds to, to get away from step one, step two, step three, and mm -hmm. just have some imagination brought. And, uh, and so that's what they're doing at uh, Radney, uh, uh, Stevens, yes. I think even at the middle school. Yes. And we just want to try to bring it to FCA as well. When you get to this competition now, um, is it pretty much everybody given the same set of uh, d directions and you tell your old bot to do this, this, and this? Exactly. So there are 10 missions, uh, and there's two and a half min minutes to run as many of the missions successfully as you can. So you get points if you complete the mission. Uh, if, you have, if your robot gets off track and you have to correct it, then you get a penalty. You lose points. And so 
everybody has the same setup. They have the same, uh, uh, same set of missions to accomplish. And uh, a lot of this is let's get our robot working correctly and then let's make sure we get it set up correctly. That's right. And that's part of the setup. I know one of the other teams, I think from Horseshoe Bend, it's like it had to go across a map. And if you were a quarter inch off here, you may be off five inches down there. And so you so, kind of got to know how to. Well, that's another one of those critical thinking uh, skills is that, you know, I've got to make sure it's set up because a little error from here to here grows into a big error when I go across the room. <laughs> and so it's those type of things, you know, when you're building a house, you want to make sure that, you know, if you've got a long stretch, you want to make sure you're as precise as possible so you don't get off center. And or the, like you have a door that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or leaning to the side. Well, this seems like a lot of fun. You guys enjoy doing this. Yeah, this is pretty fun. Yeah, uh, I always wanted to do this. Yeah, well, th this is pretty fun. And what's your name again? Um, John Paul. Now, have you built something similar to this? Um, I've been trying to work on an attachment. I've always got an attachment, and I'm trying to finish my city work so I have enough time. But it's hard to think of an attachment. I mean, well, I agree with Lego, but still. But see, when you got a These team like this, uh, you, you're all putting good ideas, yeah. ideas together, and you come up with a robot that does what you want it to do. Hopefully. No, Hopefully. That's right. <laughs> that is the plan. Hopefully. Well, this sounds exciting. When are you guys leaving for competition? Now? The competition is May 9th. Okay. So what we're going to do is have a pancake breakfast tomorrow. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, at Faith Temple. Uh-huh. Uh, the tickets are $6, uh, but it's an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast. Mm. We don't serve the little bitty pancakes. You know, we come on with the, with the good ones. Uh, there'll be sausage. There'll be coffee. There'll be yeah. orange juice. All-you-can-eat. Um, and what we're funding is just our, our gas down, our hotels. Um, meals for the guys. Sure. A lot of the things that we do uh, that, that's extra, you know, it costs money and, yeah. and we're not out to make money. This is not a for-profit thing. This is, let's just fund these guys going down um, and, and experiencing something that they otherwise would not experience. And that experience they'll never forget. They won't. Now, of course, you know, Cubby, I'm going to work it around to the food. It just happens. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, the, the pancake breakfast is tomorrow. It's from 6 until 11 a.m. at uh, at Faith Temple Church. Um, it's six dollars. All you can eat, pancakes and sausage, all kinds of good stuff, and all the money going to the robotics team just to help for expenses and getting you guys down there and back. And exactly. Listen, if you have any other things that come up and we can help you promote it, please let us. Because I, I love this kind of thing for these guys. They'll never forget this experience. It's a good thing. Well, it is a good thing. These guys have they've gone out in the community. They've ministered. Uh, they go to the nursing home a couple of times a year. They oh. go to the veterans home a t couple of times a year. And, uh, and so they go and they sing and they minister. And this is just one of these opportunities where we can get together and do something a little bit different. Uh, and, and so that's kind of what the, the robotics program is Good. about. Well, if you have other events, let me help you promote it. And also, we want to hear back from you after the competition and see how you did. <laughs> we'll try. Okay, buddy. Thank you so much for coming out, guys. It's good to have you out here. And you guys come back anytime. I don't think you introduced this guy. This is my son, and I'll be in real big trouble if I don't introduce John Patrick Stark. Are we going to try one more? We've got about three minutes. You want to try one more time? We sure can. Let's see what happens here. Just, oh, wait. Yeah, okay. We might get. Hold on. Hold on. Before you start, he's going to reset that camera, um, and uh, we're going to see if we can get that get it just right. There. Get it just right. Well, again. It is the so, lighting. Uh, this is a lot of uh, issues Well, and, and that's this is one of the things that we'll encounter at competition is uh, this type of this type of situation uh -huh. and so their ability to adjust you know my job is to make sure these guys leave the way they came right when we're working on the programs and things you know I try to be there to offer some suggestions and things like that but you know these attachments that's that's their mind uh, the programming is their mind at work, uh, so we just want to get out of the way and go. Yeah, I, I, I remember my days, I had Lincoln Logs, that's about all I had. <laughs> it's, it's come a long, a long way. way. It has a long way. All right, let's see what happens. Yes, all right. good for me. <laughs> and again, so what we'll do is we've got our, we've got our table set up, uh -huh. and our table set up will be identical to the table set up in New Orleans. Okay. And so all of these little things that we're encountering here with our makeshift set up, hopefully we'll get out of the way. We'll spend, uh, we'll spend hours going through our setups, tweaking the programs, tweaking our adjustments, sure. uh, our attachments. When we get to the competition, one of, the, one of the parts of the competition is the robotics performance, but the other part is the robotics design. Uh, the people at LEGO and, uh, and the National <coughs> World War II Museum who puts this on, they want to see, you know, why did the students build it this way? What was the thought process? How did the teamwork go? So it's not just a competition to see how, how well our robot does. It's a competition <laughs> to see what type of involvement the students had with one another, the, the teammate, uh, the, the, the 
team competition um, is, yeah. is another aspect as One well. One more try. Hey, pretty close, that. man. Pretty close. <laughs> so we've got till May 9th, and we're going to need every hour. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, but you're real out. close. So you're, <laughs> right close. you're right We're going to be keeping up with you. We want to see how you do in competition, okay? And good luck with this pancake breakfast. I we know that'll be good it. stuff. Hey, we're going to take a break, and we'll come back with more. This is Good Morning Lake Martin.